Hey guys, Tyler here. Welcome back to Vampire Survivors. Today is the day we've all been waiting for. Today is the day that I'm going to kill the Grim Reaper without cheating. Now, you might be watching and being like, what the hell are you talking about? How is this possible? Well, there has been a way figured out to kill the Grim Reaper without cheating. No, this is not a guide on how to do it. In fact, I'm using a guide to uh, do this myself. Uh, I'll be linking it in the pinned comment for those who want to see. This video is mostly a documentation of my progress towards killing the Great Reaper without cheating. So thankfully, I was able to get the first part done on the first try, and I'll be explaining this as I go along. You might be wondering, what the hell is with this giant projectile? Why am I standing right here? Well, I'm using um, Clerici, Clerici and her shtick is that you um, your projectiles start off massive as long as you don't level up much. Now, I am level 2, so the projectiles are slightly less massive, but still massive, so that it can stay locked in here and destroy anything that comes close enough to touch me. Uh, I think from all directions I should be covered, at least that's the idea. Now, what's cool about this game, I've brought up before, is that the enemies don't get stronger unless if you level up. Their health is still weak, so they will always be eviscerated by this rune tracer blip here uh, no matter how late we go into the game as long as i don't level up past level two so that's the goal just camp it out and then once we reach the end of the game well don't forget the grim reaper also has this thing where it doesn't get stronger if um you don't level up much i think its health value is something like six hundred thousand ish times your level so it's gonna have about 1.2 1.3 million which is way more achievable than like the billions or high amount of millions of, of hp they would have before allowing me to kill it now i'm expecting this to be extremely luck based I, this is my first attempt, I will be showing all the failures, just kind of like in a montage style, not to waste anybody's time or anything, but uh, it's mostly going to be an accurate depiction of how many tries it took and how completely luck-based this challenge was, in fact. Uh, thankfully, it's not going bad so far. Like, the important thing is that I unlock Rune Tracer at the beginning, I had to burn a reroll, and hopefully that doesn't matter. And now I'm looking for something specific. I am looking for a red orb to show up. And what that red orb means is that all of the XP after a certain amount of orbs on the screen will congregate in a single red orb. Because this game tries to reduce lag by combining orbs after a certain point, uh, how they do it is just by combining them into a red orb. If the red orb does not show up on the screen, then I think my run is going to be extremely hard because that means the red orb is going to be off screen. Now, I think this Rune Tracer should even be good against Elites, although that one's stuck in the corner like a scrub. I don't imagine all of them will do that. Yeah, some will phase through the wall, so I expect, expect it to die pretty soon. Oh, I got a chest. Cool. Didn't see that coming. I don't remember if getting a chest is bad. I hope it's not bad. It makes my Rune Tracer stronger without making the enemies weaker. By the way, if you're wondering how the hell the projectile is stuck there, it's not, well, it is stuck, but it's not like a glitch or a bug or a cheat or anything. Oh god, I got another chest, I can't believe it. Might as well open it. Uh, the way the rune tracer wor works is that it bounces off the edge of the screen, and it also bounces off of obstacles. And what's just happening here is that the rune tracer is bouncing off of obstacles. The tables themselves are obstacles. I guess the bookcase behind me is an obstacle, or the wall? So now, the moment of truth, the final 10 seconds. I am not allowed to collect XP until the 30 minute mark hits. After the Reaper spawns, then I can collect XP. Because now, there we go. I got a treasure chest. I got a couple of those still while waiting. I got Rune Trace up to level 5. A stacked treasure chest. It's okay. Hopefully, not too many stacked. Oh god, wait, I did not expect this part of it. Okay, well, how many treasure chests is this on top of each other? At least four. Oh god, one's a triple chest. Apparently it's bad if you get your rune tracer up to level 8. Did that just happen? Yeah, it just happened. At least I, I'm allowed to upgrade this stuff now. Okay, I see my red orb all the way to the right. I'm rushing towards that. These are terrible upgrades. I'm actually going to skip with how bad these are. And I'll take an magic wand. And then I guess uh, another magic wand. And I'm going to die at this rate. Awesome. Magic wand. Clock land set. Okay, wait, I can still freeze him. Why aren't you freezing? Oh, now you're freezing. 
At least they still have my revive. This is all part of the plan. I don't know why it took us so long to freeze, but now I should be getting all of my upgrades. So, duplicator. Clock Lancet. Bracer's important. Empty Tome is important. Apparently with Empty Tome, you want to get it to level 3. And then some of the other stuff. Empty Tome is now at level 3. Now I don't want to level it up until I get Clock Lancet all the way to max. Uh, I hear Knife is pretty good. Now I need Laurel still. Guess I'll take Pomerola. Uh, spinach is better than Tiragisu, but I do want both. Actually, I'll take Tiragisu and start getting these weapons up. What I need is Candle Labrador. Ah, there we go. Candle Labrador for bigger areas of things. Because it is important that I have the projectiles be big. The Rune Tracer projectiles, I want those to be very large. That way it doesn't miss the damn... Grim Reaper. I'm still looking for Laurel. I hope I get offered Laurel. That would be wonderful. Laurel, please. Uh, yeah. No Laurel. This feels like a gigantic loss then. I guess I'll just level this stuff up and be happy. But th this is not my ideal set of projectiles. Okay, I need to level up Clock Lancet like ASAP. Where is my damn Clock Lancet? Clock Lancet, please. Clock Lancet. Clock Lancet. Clock Lancet. There we go. I need to level up Clock Lancet all the way. Come on, Clock Lancet. You can do it. There we go. Another one. One more level of Clock Lancet. Then I'm safe. Okay, there we go. Now I can get Empty Tome up. I want to get that to level 5. And then I can level up anything in any order. That's looking better. Okay, and there we go. Now we just take all the levels. I might as well grab some chicken because I'm lacking HP. There we go. Back to max. Oh, okay. Okay, and now the next thing to do is see if I need to level anything up. Like, don't I need evolved knives? Oh, yeah. Blue wand and knives. Like, this is all pretty important. Yeah, there we go. Got the big knives. I think that's it for levels. So now what I'm meant to do is just hide in here where Rune Tracer can start bouncing around like crazy. See that Rune Tracer bouncing back and forth? That's supposed to be my main damage. Now, right now, the thousand knives are the main damage. Just kind of freezing the Reaper there and and we're just hitting him with a cross and the knives. This is actually working out better than I expected, to be honest. But if he ever gets close, he's going to get hit with a bunch of Rune Tracer. Now, the thing is with the Rune Tracer, is actually not Rune Tracer itself, but more of an Empty Tome apparently glitch. Apparently, Empty Tome does not apply to a weapon until you actually buy or upgrade that weapon. Which means that because I bought all the levels of Rune Tracer, or what well, was forced to get it before unlocking Empty Tome, that means uh, that Rune Tracer is unaffected by Empty Tome. But... It doesn't matter because I'm freezing the Reapers at the edge. So why did I have to get the um, Empty Tome to level 3 before getting Clock Lancet? And that is because it uses that same bug to keep Clock Lancet firing at the speed of Empty Tome level 3. And Empty Tome level 3 allows Clock Lancet to shoot at a perfect speed that it refreezes the Reapers just after they're unfrozen. Because if you freeze a Reaper while it's already frozen, it doesn't refreeze. So you have to wait for it to, for it to be unfrozen. That's working out pretty well. What's funny is I think the Reapers are stuck in the walls. I don't know how I got the, the workout for me, but I'm happy I did. So now I just have to hope my, my damn knives and crosses are enough to kill this first Reaper. I mean, it only has a million HP. But the, the more... Oh, God. Okay. Yep, there's a Reaper. I, not having Laurel is a pain, because the more Reapers means that I'm going to be more likely to get owned, completely destroyed, and I have to have Tyrgis to revive me, but I don't think that's going to help. I think it's just going to be a little bit too late. Yeah, it's a little bit too late. Am I dead? No. Hold on, let's see. Can I kill this Reaper in the final second? Here, I'll even come around here just to maybe try to get lucky. Yeah, yeah, somehow this is safe. Somehow the other Reapers aren't getting me. Improvisation for the win. Come on, pick it off before I can have the other ones kill me. 
I am praying to my lucky stars because I think if the fourth Reaper spawns, I'm done for. I don't think this is going to be fast enough damage. I think I need to let the Reaper in. But hey, this is my first attempt. Not everything is going to be perfect. And here comes the next Reaper. And it kills me. I think that's all. Yep. GG. Let's try again. Attempt number two is live and ready to go. I got the Rune Tracer, luckily without burning a reroll or skip. Hopefully that helps me out here. Now, difference is I'm going to try dodge the chests if I can. Uh, and to begin with, I'm not too happy with these. I'll just take an axe. And then Bracer is great. I don't see my red gem, huh? Where the hell is it? It's not here! Oh no. Is the red gem to the left? Well, I have to hope it is, because I'm dead. <laughs> wow, this was a great waiting 30 minutes for. Okay, take three. This is attempt number six, actually. Run number six. Because in between now and then, I have had the game crash 20 minutes in. I have leveled up to level three twice, and then somehow died at the four minute mark. So here we go, actual run. Do we have what it takes? The only thing is this run is cursed because I've already leveled up Rune Trace of the Max from chests and only got three Santa Water levels, which is complete BS. Terrible luck. At least I can see my red orb down below. So I can make it there. Just hopefully I can get good upgrades. Sure, why not cross? Okay, and there's my first death. But once I get that red gem, it should be fine. I think I have enough invincibility to make it there. Come on. Oh, uh, this is crap. Okay, run it back again. It's the seventh attempt. Feel okay about this one. Have not leveled up Rune Tracer too far. In fact, there's a lot of chests lying around that haven't really uh, screwed me over. So now with the level, I hope I can get something good here because I don't see my red orb. Take whip. Come on, make it there. Okay, I should be able to make it there after the revive. It's so close. Good. Oh, okay, good. I got Laurel. That's a good start. Okay, here we go. It's time. I'll take one Candle Labrador or one uh, Evolved Axe. And now I just got to lead the Reaper inside here. Get in here. It froze? Bad timing for that. Maybe I need to like push him in here or something? Ah, how do I get him to come in? No, stop it. Maybe I need to push him. Get in, you stupid fool. You know what? Maybe this is fine. Yes! Okay, that's doable. Look at that rune tracer go. Look at it go. Look at those damage numbers. Insane. The Reaper's hitbox is pretty big too, so this can kind of just keep bouncing. Damage is real, and that Reaper's stuck. Excellent. So, with the, between everything, this should be good damage, but I don't know if it'll be enough to kill it. Uh, do I need to move so the Rune Trapers, Tracers stop escaping? The more they stand, the better. Come on. How do I get him to stop escaping? <gasps> no! It pushed! No! The wrong Reaper! I'm hitting the wrong Reaper! I have revives, but... That's bad. I need to get this Reaper back in. Okay, yes. But, I don't know. That doesn't really help me. I need this Reaper to die. I don't know if I'm going to get there at all. I don't have those crazy numbers before. Or, like, before. I can't believe it pushed this. Like, I don't know what to do. I don't have that great of damage, though. I don't have knife, so it's... Like, my main damage of Rune Tracer was just gone. Like, maybe I could try push him, except every time I try to push him... It goes the crap. Okay, push him this way, maybe? Get in! Ugh! Another Reaper spawned. Get in here. Oh, I got a chest. That's gonna be annoying. I'm probably gonna get a couple chests, because I have to walk here. Get in. Okay, it's in! Please! Okay, it's frozen. Ugh, okay. Got a little bit of bouncing action. I mean, it's back to damage, but... They keep pushing each other. Stop it. Okay, I still have a revive, I believe. Right? Yeah, I do. But I need it to die really soon. I don't know if I'm going to be so lucky, though. Oh, come on. That's got to be death. Well, we'll try it again.
It's attempt number 10, because I had two fails where I leveled up to level 3. Not gonna lie though, I don't feel good about this one, because Rune Tracer is already level 8. Somehow, despite Sandwater only being level 4, what the fuck? And it capped off with a triple chest where all three upgrades were Rune Tracer, so it's bullshit. I got Clock Lance at least, and maybe I can still remedy this. Alright, this whole thing was really iffy. I need two evolved weapons right now. I need to freeze it in here, please. Let me get to freeze it in there. Clock Lancet. Hurry up. Okay, thank you. I need two evolved weapons. The fireball. What? Excuse me? Both the knife and the fireball need to level up. There's the knife. And this should be the fireball. That was really weird how I didn't get that the first time. Okay, here we go. So, is the slow duration too long? Uh, yes. Well, here's what needs to happen. I just need to hope that I can kill him fast enough. Because what needs to happen is that clock lancet needs to go off. Like, one direction further than how it did, like, the previous time. Well, no, maybe not. Either way, I mean, we'll see if I stand a chance. I've got both the Thousand Blades and Rune Tracer just going ham. Hopefully, I can get a kill here. Come on! Freeze! At least I have Tirgasu. That was so annoying. No! No! Don't push! Okay, well, now I gotta shoot it through the wall. Good thing I have knives, at least. Knives make this a little bit better. Because I can still target it down, even without Rune Trace doing crazy damage. But, Knife has to hard carry at this point. I don't know when it's actually going to die, though. Oh, God. Ugh, please freeze! Please! I still have a revive. Oh, this is brutal, man. The other Reapers are unfrozen, and it's just going to get worse and worse. I have to kill this right now, basically. I'm begging you! Ah. Uh. Can't catch a break. It's attempt number 12. Last one lost due to gaining too much XP. I swear the previous good run would have worked out if Rune Tracer had not been level 8. And this time it's not. Only level 2, thankfully. So maybe there's still a chance. Let's get Candle Labrador. I might even... Oh, I don't quite make it safely. Okay, well, hopefully I can still get there. I mean, this is a really good start. It just has to... Mmm, come on! Should I be playing on hyper mode? It is the next day. I'm now in hyper mode. Rune Tracer is not level eight, and I guess this attempt 14 overall. Wish me luck. I got good things going. Oh my god, what I just got so antsy. That's losing right there. Yeah, if you are level 3 before the Reaper spawns, it's an instant loss. Oh, I'm not even level 3, I'm level 4. Yeah, instant loss. Just reset right now. Fuck that. This is attempt 17. Somehow I died twice in the past two runs. Died at the 3-minute mark and the 16-minute mark. Neither of which made any sense, because the Rune Tracer just stopped damaging enemies out of nowhere. It was really weird. And this one's not too much better! Because I've already got level 8 Rune Tracer, it's BS, because Sandwater only leveled up four times, and there was a freaking triple chest, it, it's crap. I don't know, it's pretty weird that I'm not seeing the Reaper yet. It is very strange. Well, still, I'll take the good stuff, there he is. Okay, so I got revivals, and I'm on hyper mode for the first time, so I mean, I should be able to make it to here. There we go. I'll take Laurel, I'll take Clock Lancet. Okay, there we go. Now I gotta get him in here. Start the Rune Tracer going. There we go, he's stunned. So, I mean, this should be good. But I, I Rune Tracer is slower than usual. I don't know if this Reaper has the right amount of HP because it technically showed up after I leveled up a couple times, even though it was after the 30 minute mark. And yeah, Rune Tracer isn't ideal. Is Rune Tracer even bouncing? It's... Probably, it feels like it's, like, not bounce off the projectiles, though it is. Okay, there's, like, a ton of bounces in very close proximity to the Reaper. 
So a ton of damage is getting done. The knives are hitting. Second Reaper's stuck. That's good. I mean, who knows? Maybe the bounciness of the Rune Tracer will do me a salad here. I do need Laurel to keep recharging, though. That is very important. I mean, it's possible to win with an early Rune Tracer. I just don't know if I will get lucky enough. I desperately need this to not be knocked back. Okay, it's pretty weird, actually. Like, I can't tell which Clock Lance is hitting it. Like, I don't even see the Clock Lance at Projectile. Why is it invisible? It's messing with my strat and timing. Wait, okay. I don't know how I got here, but I'm happy it's here. Come on, Rune Tracer. Just do a million damage. I don't know if I'm going to get a million. That's what I need. A whole million. <gasps> uh, oh, good. Good, good, good. It came back. For a second, I thought I lost it. But no, it's back. Glad to have you back, King. Oh, I don't know which one is which. Uh, I hope it's the one I'm shooting right now. <laughs> I don't know which is the right reaper anymore. One of them has a billion trillion HP. The other one has a little bit. I oh, I think it's this one. Hold on. Let me. Uh, okay. Now I have no idea. It's like the ball in the cup trick. I have no idea which reaper is which. Just give me. Ah, uh, just let's get rid of these damn chests. Oh, I forgot to level up the knives. Awkward. Missed on some damage. Well, I guess I'll see which knife... This is better for damage. This is my first real run of the day, so... You now I can easily forget some of these details. Let's hope it's this Reaper. I don't know. They're all here again. Some Reaper's gonna get a lot of damage dealt to it. I just hope it's the right one. I hope it's the middle one. <laughs> one of these has to die, right? Oh, man. Wait, did I get one? How many Reapers are here? Hold up. I see three Reapers. There should be four. That means I killed one, right? That means I killed one, right? I wasn't paying attention. I should have paid attention to my kill count. Because I see three Reapers. There definitely could have been four at most. Just let me die so I can know for sure. Please tell me I got one. I have to. I've been doing this for so damn long, man. It's taken two days. Two days. You just kill me. Kill me. Then stop freezing and kill me. Yeah, let, me, let me like move here so they can kill me. Kill me. Stop freezing. Okay, I need another Reaper to show up. Come on. Kill me. <laughs> kill me. <laughs> the anticipation is going to kill me first. You have got to be kidding Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna like run this way to get it to like respawn. It's still kill me. Yes! <laughs> it took forever! Okay, it's done, right? No more revives. I did a ton of damage with the rune tracer. I don't know if that got it, but let's see. There's only one way to find out. Yes! Yes, I did it! This is the whole point of the whole thing to unlock the secret character. Mask of the Red Death, previously known as Missing No. That is going to be the whole point of the next video that I do on this game. This was insane. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I am so glad the pain is over. I will see you all in the next episode. Have a wonderful day and peace.